What's up, everyone? This is Alex, and welcome to Cinematic Sound Design Recipes. Today, we're going to see how to create this sound from scratch with free libraries only. Sounds like this. Yeah, that's the infamous Bram sound that we heard in Inception on every single trailer of movies released after that movie. Basically, to create this, you need to follow this process. I use the Philharmonia Orchestra Sound Samples Pack, which is a free pack of web samples of the uh, instruments on the orchestra. It's not useful for composing in my mind because it's not MIDI. It's just wave file or every single note playable by these instruments. So I imported all the samples of the G2 note on French horn, tubas, bass trombone, and double basses and imported them together as sounds like this. Which is very freaking fat. And then I recorded them into one single sample, did a pitch automation on it so it gets this quality to it. And then uh, I added some effects to it. So let's check out the effects that made this Bram sound possible. First thing I added is this guy, which is a distortion module, which is free, Lee 456. Sounds very, very aggressive. <laughs> then I added some OTT and parametric EQ to shape it. OTT is a free multi multiband compressor, right? <laughs> You saw the EQ moving, it's because I wanted to remove a bit of the low end at the beginning as it was too much boomish. Then after that, I added the real, the real deal, the reverb, which is the fruity reverb, again, stock plugin. I added more wetness than dry signal, and then I have five seconds of decay, very important. And it sounds like this. That's where it gets its space. Then I added uh, OTT uh, at the end, and a patcher with mid-side splitting, so that I could EQ the mid and the side signal differently as to give more space to the side and more bass to the mid and all together sounds like this. And I recorded it and pretty much now I have this sample which is the Bram I made and that's how you make Brams. If you want bonus points of course you can use some actual plugins that are paid like Valhalla Shimmer and you can go beyond like with Valhalla Shimmer set to dark and all those things I can actually make this into a freaking Blade Runner drone. Check this out. But yeah, all the plugins you just saw now are free, link down below in the description. And if you want to learn more about cinematic synthesis, check out the Evanant course, which is a sponsor of this video, Evanant course, Cinematic Synthesis. Anyway, this is for this video. See you guys on the next one. Bye.